in a Inichka chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are making chicken, chicken tapaka. It basically means butterfly chicken. It's so juicy, delicious, yummy, easy to make and absolutely love it. My family, whole family loves this recipe and I'll show you how to make quick and easy dinner. And let me show you what the ingredients we need for this recipe. Pretty simple. Since in the United States you can find baby chicken bird, um, I got away usually with uh, Cornish hen. I love it. <laughs> it's quick and it's small. Look how little. Doesn't have much fat. Cooks fast. And we'll add a little fat for the sauce to make delicious. <laughs> and cooks faster. And it's, it's yummy. It's soft. It's a very juicy bird. I, I like to use. Another ingredient what we need besides the chicken, and I would say it's a key ingredient, the spice Khmeli Sunel. It's a Georgian spice, and if you remember my recipe with eggplant, and I will link below, we make the spice. We grind, and I, I will link in the description below how to do this. But if you don't want, you can buy ready, and I will link below where to get. It's yummy, it's very aromatic spice. It's nothing like mm, curry, <laughs> I, would des I would describe, I, I don't know how to describe, it's delicious, head to head. Another ingredient, paprika, sweet paprika, not spicy, a few cloves of garlic, tomato sauce, olive oil, we also will use some butter for cooking, black pepper and salt, that's it, pretty, pretty simple, easy, everyone can do. And to serve, we'll have some delicious creamy sauce with a lot of garlic. This chicken tapaka, you have to have garlic, a lot of garlic. It's um, the whole point. <laughs> Cooked on pan, quick, and um, with big press. I will show you how to create if you don't have anything special. And with simple equipment, you can do under 30 minutes delicious meal. Um, I will show you how to easy butterfly chicken. It's nothing to be afraid. You kind of lay upside down and find your little breast. And all you need to do, just cut on the middle. So you only cut the breast and you don't want to cut further than that. That's it. Now we take upside down. I want to help. You want to help? <laughs> <laughs> John, you need apron. So you want to help me? Yes. Yeah. So first we need to put some little bit plastic wrap. Yeah. Yeah, plastic wrap. And cut it. And then we're going to put Yes. You want to do that? Okay, let's do it. And basically, you try to level up this chicken, this little bird, to make one level so it will cook evenly and fast and same, um, same time on both sides. Now we flip. Flip. So this one is ready and goes to the plate okay, and she will rest for a few minutes. Now we're doing the same thing with another one. So now since they both butterfly, nice and beautiful and Johnny going to help to put some seasoning, right? Yeah. Which one you want? Um, Yellow or orange? Uh, orange. I think. Lelo. Lelo. You want Lelo? I want orange. So, can you do this? Yeah. Put some paprika on. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> good, 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 good. Generously, please. <laughs> Be generous, please. 
and freshly ground black pepper. You know me, I like freshly ground. So now we flip and doing the same thing. Right? Look how pretty. Some paprika, some kmele suneli. Very aromatic. You need this pepper okay. and salt. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. And let's sit at least 20 minutes, can be room temperature, not necessary to put in the refrigerator, but if you have time, you can leave even overnight, it will be even better. <laughs> While chicken resting, we will work on sauce, and sauce pretty simple, it's tomato sauce, plain, garlic, and salt, very easy, everyone can do. <laughs> so now the garlic is ready, all we need to do, great. Now some salt, pinch of salt, don't need a lot, and give it a whisk. Set aside. This is ready, chicken ready, and let's talk about pan. This is two pans, cast iron pans, what I'm going to use. You can use any pan you like, but cast iron is the best job. Dutch oven can work as well, as long as it's big enough to, uh, to fit your chicken. If you don't have Cornish on chicken, you can use half regular chicken and that will work as well. And do the same thing what I did with whole bird. I have a little bit of olive oil already and I add some butter. Clarified butter would be even better for this, but I don't have today clarified butter, I have only regular butter. About one tablespoon of butter. First chicken in and has to be skinned down. Heat, let it get. I'm using regular plate and and something heavy. And ten minutes later, look how beautiful! I love this noise. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we have it. Something. Look at the color. Oh yeah. And leave this for another five minutes. Take the sauce and gently brush. Flip one more time. While our chicken finishing up, another five minutes left, I would like to show what kind of sauce I like to serve. This chicken is our favorite. This is cream fresh. If you don't have cream fresh, use yogurt, whole fat yogurt or salad cream. About two thirds of a cup. Actually, if you like more, use more. <laughs> a lot of parsley, half cup of parsley. And one cup of garlic. Great garlic. <laughs> it's always. We check in temperature and it has to be 165. It's almost there. Maybe one more minute of cooking. Here's this pretty beautiful chicken. Look at this. Gorgeous. Smell delicious. Has plenty of sauce. There's melted butter and a tiny bit of olive oil and tomato, garlic, it's so delicious. And Melisonelli, of course, it's the key of flavor and make everything smell so good, make me hungry. And I like to serve this um, chicken, as I mentioned, with rice, plain rice or with potato. And I boil actually uh, baby potatoes <laughs> plain as it is. I'm going to serve with delicious creamy sauce <laughs> as well. And my favorite part, <laughs> Of course, to taste. Oh, yes. Let me tell you, this is so good.
so young and took us 18 minutes total, right? It's so easy. You have to make easy dinner and serve with some potato and green beans or salad. And here you go. Delicious meal and all recipe in description below. As always, in all details, if you want to check and visit my blog, related recipe for the spices and other things, what I mentioned orally. And I hope you share this recipe with your friends and family. Bye, see you next time.